don't think you should look at it as project getting delayed. Please understand we are doing this unique project right through this great city of Hyderabad. And uh, nobody expects things to be perfect. There are uh, land clearances, there are utility clearances, there are other bottlenecks, so on and so forth. And one expects all this. It, it's not a brand new city being done where it's a greenfield development. It's a greenfield development in a brownfield area. And therefore, uh, some of these aspects do come into play and one has to uh, manage all that and then take it forward. So, delays will occur as it occurs in any other project. And uh, we have to see how in our best interest to compress some of the delays, how to take it forward, how maybe to circumvent some of these things. And that is what the collaboration between the government and the concessionaire is. And we are doing our best to take it forward. So, as we see it, the final stage to complete could be uh, December. I view it's a fantastic moment as we go forward. Uh, we are trying our best to see how to even compress this, but at the moment this is what it looks like. But that doesn't mean many other things can happen to be more positive. So let's leave it at that right now. If there are delays, uh, one enters into a dialogue to see how to take it forward. So it's a positive atmosphere, so let's see how to take it forward. Okay. You, why don't you answer the question yourself? If there are delays, somebody has to extend it, otherwise how can you do it within the same time, it is not possible, isn't it? So if there is a delay, one has to put it forward to the government, government has to go through it, analyze the reason for it, we have to enter into a dialogue and see how to take it forward and we are doing that. Uh, June 2nd looks a bit tight from my view because many, many things have to fall into place. It is just not only the construction and some trial runs, the security has to come in, the electricity has to come in, the stations have to be manned, the ticket counters have to start working. The operation maintenance has to be in full ring. The permissions and permits from the, the Metro Rail Authority has to come in. So many little, little aspects are there. So we are trying to push everything. Many of this have already come in. Many more things have to come in. So as all of you know, due to various reasons, in control and out of control, there has been, there has been delays and therefore there will be cost escalations. So one has to understand this correctly. One has to estimate it correctly and one has to see how to bridge the gap that has come in to see how to take it forward. So this is a continuous dialogue and will happen to see how to take it forward. So as a, as a government, they also have to plan for other things beyond metro, which they are doing, which is correct. And therefore, we will have to now see how to bridge the metro along with the other flyovers and underground and other things that is coming up. One cannot stop a development because a metro is going on. Other developments will take place because traffic is moving up. People are wanting to use better conveyance and infrastructure facilities. So, metro is a great facility coming up, but other facilities like roads or undergrounds or flyovers will come up and one has to interface. If there is an idea from the government to take something else forward, the Hyderabad, LNT Hyderabad Metro will sit with the government authorities to work out a solution towards this. So, nothing will be an hindrance and I don't think government has anywhere said us to stop it or not to move forward or anything else. It has been a positive atmosphere, so I, I would like to keep it like that. The equity has come in, more or less. Debt is coming in. And VGF has been what we bid for and got from the government. There is also a viability issue. So we have to enter into a dialogue between the government to see how to take this forward. This is not a government investment, this is a private investment. So one has to, as a private organization, keep the viability from our point of view. Only. The banks look at the debt to see whether the asset will have the necessary asset turnover ratio or the debt turnover ratio to repay their debt back. VGF is in public interest. Well, at the end of the day, this is a public project. It is a government function that we as a concessionaire are trying to do. Normally, world over, governments run metro, either directly or through a special purpose vehicle form for it. Here, they are given as a unique venture to a private party, Lassen and Dubro, to take it forward. So, one looking at the viability, looking at how the delays have occurred, looking at various other aspects of the forward, have to have a very Ne uh, very deep-rooted negotiations with the various stakeholders involved to arrive at a comprehensive solution. So, this is a very, very complex matter. So, let us see how it evolves and as it evolves, we will keep you informed.